what is DeFi? Guys, in today's episode, we're gonna go over what is DeFi and how it's being used in the blockchain and crypto spaces. In short, DeFi is a decentralized finance. It's an umbrella term for a variety of financial applications in crypto or blockchain geared towards disrupting financial intermediaries. Draws inspiration from blockchain, the technology behind the digital currency Bitcoin, which allows several entities to hold a copy of history of transactions, meaning it is not controlled by a single central source. That's important because centralized systems and human gatekeepers can limit the speed and sophistication of transactions while offering users less direct control over the money. DeFi is distinct because it expands the use of blockchain from simple value transactions to more complex financial use cases. Bitcoin and many other digital native assets stand out from legacy digital payment methods, such as those ran by Visa and PayPal in that they remove all middlemen from transactions. When you pay with a credit card for a coffee at a cafe, a financial institution sets between you and the business with control over the transactions retaining the authority to stop or pause it and record it in its private ledger. When Bitcoin, the institutions are cut out of the picture. Direct purchase aren't the only type of transactions or contracts overseen by big companies. Financial applications such as loans, insurance, crowdfunding, derivatives, betting, and more are also in their control. Cutting out middlemen from all kinds of transactions is one of the primary advantages of DeFi. Before it was commonly known as decentralized finance, the ideal of DeFi was often called open finance. So DeFi is used on a lot of Ethereum applications. Most applications that call themselves DeFi are built on top of Ethereum, the world's second largest cryptocurrency platform, which sets itself apart from Bitcoin platform and that it easily and that it is easier to use to build other types of decentralized applications beyond simple transactions there are many complex use cases where even highlighted by ethereum creator vitalik buterin back in 2013 in the original ethereum white paper That's because of Ethereum's platform for smart contracts, which automatically execute transactions in certain conditions are met. Offers much more flexibility. Ethereum programming language such as Solidarity are specifically designed for creating and deploying such smart contracts. For example, Say a user wants his or her money to be sent to a friend next Tuesday, but only if the temperature climbs above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, according to weather.com. Such rules can be written in a smart contract. With smart contracts at the core, dozens of DeFi applications are operating on Ethereum, some of which are explored below, Ethereum 2.0. A coming upgrade to Ethereum's underlying network could give these apps a boost by chipping away at Ethereum scalability issues. The most popular type of DeFi applications include decentralized exchanges, sometimes called DEX. Online exchanges help users exchange currencies for other currencies, whether US dollars for Bitcoin or for DA, DAI. DAX are a hot topic of exchanges 
which connects users directly so they can trade cryptocurrencies with others without trusting an intermediary with their money. Stablecoin, a cryptocurrency that's tied to an asset outside of cryptocurrency. The dollar, the euro, are some examples that are used as stable coins. Lending platform. These platforms use smart contracts to replace intermediaries, such as banks that manage lending in the middle. Wrapped. Bitcoin. WBTC. A way of sending Bitcoin to the Ethereum network so the Bitcoin can be used directly. In Ethereum's DeFi system, WBTC allows users to earn interest on the Bitcoin they lend out via the decentralized lending platform described above. Prediction markets. Markets for betting on the outcome of future events, such as elections. The goal of DeFi versions of predictive markets is to offer the same functionality, but with without intermediaries. In addition to those apps, new DeFi concepts have sprung up around them. Yield farming. For knowledgeable traders who are willing to take on risk, these yield farming, where users scan through various DeFi tokens in search of opportunities for large returns. Liquidity mining. When DeFi applications entice users to their platform by giving them free tokens, this has been the busiest form of yield farming yet. Ability. DeFi apps are open source, meaning the code behind them is public for anyone to use. As such, these apps can be used to compose new apps with the code as building blocks. Money Legos. Putting the concept composability Another way, DeFi apps are like Legos, the toy blocks children click together to construct buildings, vehicles, and so on. DeFi apps can be similarly snapped together like money Legos to build new financial products. Lending markets are one popular form of DeFi, which connect borrowers to lenders of cryptocurrencies, one popular platform, Compound, allows users to borrow cryptocurrencies or offer their own loans. Users can make money off of interest for lending out their money. Compound sets the interest rate algorithm. So if there's higher demand to borrow a cryptocurrency, the interest rate will be pushed higher. DeFi lending is collateral based, meaning in order to take out a loan, a user needs to put up collateral. Offer either the token that powers Ethereum, that means users don't give out their identity or associate credit scores to take out a loan, which is how normal or non-DeFi loans operate. Stablecoin. Another form of DeFi is the stablecoin. Cryptocurrencies offer experience sharper price fluctuations that fiat, which isn't a good quality for people who want to know how much their money will be worth a week from now. Stablecoin pegs cryptocurrencies to use cryptocurrencies such as US dollars in order to keep the price under control. As the number implies, stablecoin aims to bring price stability. Predictive markets. One of the oldest DeFi applications living on Ethereum is so-called predictive markets, which users use to bet on outcomes of some events such as, will Donald Trump win the 2020 election? Goal of the participants is obviously to make money through the prediction markets. But sometimes these markets can actually predict what centralized or normal ways of polling cannot do. 
That is why DeFi has potential in this interest and more and more people are flocking to dApps like this. All right, guys, let me know what you think. If you're interested in more videos like this, let me know in the comments. If you like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. But in the end, I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Later.